Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Trivet Knots. Let me start this video with a statement. The famous football coach, American football coach of the Green Bay Packers, Vince Lombardi, when addressing his players in a locker room one time was recorded as saying this, perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. That's my attitude on what I do with not tying and, and stuff in general. Has been for a good long while. I'm going to completely redo this bell rope. I don't like the one that I'm making. Every time I look at it, I don't want to work on it. So I'm going to redo it all together. I might even use a different line, not sure. But uh, you'll get to see. Just to show you an example, I retied every sentence on this twice. Sometimes that's what you've got to do. I won't torture you with every detail of it, but I mean, I will. I'll show you uh, what I'm going to be doing with it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm still con going to continue with tutorials. This is going to be a tutorial on the six lead, five bite Turk's head, as I understand it. Uh, one of the things that I really hate is just trying to memorize overs and unders on stuff. I want to understand how a particular knot is constructed, why it's that way, how it works that way. And uh, so then I can just do it without having to memorize, oh, was that left, left or right or over or under or what? You know, I just, um, anyway, so this is going to be my attempt to explain how I think my way through this particular uh, and understand this particular Turk's head. And I hope it's beneficial to you. On to the tutorial. I see this in two sections a starting pattern and a finishing pattern. So the start is around once, and that's around twice, and back under. I'm gonna use a couple of pins because I wanna uh, take my time and explain it best I can. So I'm gonna stick a pin in back here to hold things in place, although the cork's pretty good. And then, I'll stick another pin in right here. All right, so, we've gone around twice, and now we're going to <clears throat> do the opposite of this lead. I'm gonna go under here. Go around there. and then back over. So we went under that and we went over this and back around. That's what I call the starting pattern. Pin this a couple places more. I think we're good there for the moment. All right, so then we're going to oppose this line. So it's going under there, we're gonna go over and then back under here. All right, stay in there. Then, this is another bite, so let's stick a pin in there. Once again, this is our key. We're gonna go opposite of that. So this currently goes under this one, so we're gonna go over it. It goes over this one, so we're gonna go under it. Stay in. Dang on it. Come here. Don't fight me. I'll just get another one. There we go. All right. All right. So, under there, then back over that one, and we're back around. Now, what have we just done? I will explain this to you. Stick another pin in here. All right. We're back around where our working end and our, excuse me, our sanding end and working end have met. And on a Turk's head, that means you have tied a completed Turk's head. 
So we have one, two, three, four leads by one, two, three bites. That is a completed Turk's head, but we want to expand it to a six lead, five bite. So when we expand this, we're gonna add two and two. Two leads, two bites. This is the expansion pattern. You're going to use this as your key. So we're going to oppose that. So that goes under there, over here, and under there. All right. So once again, this is still our key. Goes over here. So we're gonna go under here. I'm just gonna turn it around all the way. We're gonna go under that, over this, and under this. And let's stick another pin in there. Let's see, we're actually, we need to go this way. Right? Because that's our little channel there. I'll stick a pen in here just to hold that in place. So now, over there, and we're back around to here, and we're gonna split this channel. We're back around to here. This is the finishing pattern again. That's our key. We're gonna go over and under, opposing that, the opposite of that. And under here. All right. Coming back here, and we're gonna run down this little channel right here. Over, under, over, and under, and over. And over back around to where these meet once again. We pull the pins out and kind of spread this out so we can look at our work. I don't know how much good they did. They're not very strong. So let's spread this out a little bit. So Doesn't look very pretty right now. Anyway, so once again, we have the working end and the standing end have met once again, so we have a completed Turk's head. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six leads, and one, two, three, four, five bites. If you use that same expansion pattern, and I'd love once again in two phases, the beginning pattern and the finishing pattern each time you'll expand it by two leads and two bites each time. So here is the second pass. So to accomplish the second pass or an optional third pass if you've allowed yourself enough line, you simply take the standing end and follow it with the working end parallel on the same side all the way around.
Well, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was of some benefit to you. And we'll see you next week with uh, the progress on the new Bell Rope project. We'll see you then.